All right, let's move on to the next example. So again, just a reminder, if we have a function that is given by a formula and the domain is not stated explicitly, then the convention is that the domain is the set of all numbers for which the formula makes sense and defines a real number. So find the domain of this function. So here's an algebraic description of a function, and the domain isn't explicitly stated. So we've got to assume it's as big as possible. So what is it? Well, if I factor the denominator, then I can see a little bit more clearly that it really makes sense to plug any x value into this expression, except the x values for which the denominator vanishes. So our domain is going to be the set of all real numbers such that x is not 0 and x is not 1. So this is written in terms of set builder notation. And as, I've writing, as I was writing it down, I was saying verbally what it meant. So I read the curly brackets as the set of all x in the real numbers such that x is not 0 and x is not 1. If you want to write it in terms of interval notation, if that's what you prefer, well, you could write it as, well, it's a set of all numbers from negative infinity to 0, union 0 to 1, union 1 to infinity. But I had to split it up into three intervals because there was two points I was removing. So it was the real number line, which I've removed 0 from it, and I removed 1 from it. So that was 0 and that was 1. So there was three intervals that make up that set now. Or you could write it in terms of this set builder notation, which is what I prefer to do. Okay, so there's our domain. So what about this next function? We want to find the domain of this function h of t, which is the square root of 16 minus t squared. Well, in order for a value of t to make sense to plug into this, I need to make sure that 16 minus t squared is able to be square rooted. So I need to make sure that 16 minus t squared is positive. So 16 minus t squared had better be bigger than or equal to 0. Or in other words, t squared had better be smaller than or equal to 16. I can square root both sides. And I need that the positive square root of t squared is smaller than or equal to the positive square root of 16. Right? I'm keeping the inequality in the same direction because I'm just taking the positive square root of both sides. Positive square root of t squared, well, that's the absolute value of t because I don't know whether t was positive or negative to begin with. So when I take the positive square root of it, it's the absolute value of t. And that's less than or equal to 4. Ah, so that means that t the absolute value of t is less than 4. That means t is trapped between negative 4 and 4. So what is our domain? Our domain is the set of all t, the real numbers, such that t is between negative 4 and 4. Or in terms of interval notation, it is negative 4 to 4. And I've used square brackets here because we're allowed to include negative 4 and 4 in the domain because if I plug them in then I just get the square root of 0 or h is 0 at those points. What about the range? How do I get the range? So what are the possible values that come out? So first I'll square both sides. And I'll get h squared is equal to 16 minus t squared. And I'll notice that this is h squared plus t squared is equal to 16. Oh, so that gives me a circle. So what is our range? Well, the set of all ht values which satisfy this equation here is a circle. But I, for the function, I only want to keep the h values which are positive because I'm looking at the positive square root of this. So we're really looking at the graph as being an upper semicircle. There's the t-axis, there's the h-axis, and it's the upper semicircle. And it's a circle of radius 4. So it goes over here to 4, and up here to 4, and back here to negative 4. 
Um, we already see again why the domain is negative 4 to 4, because we can see that that's the only place that the function is defined on. What's our domain? Well, it would be all the values that get hit. So it's all these values here. So what's the range? The range is the set of all h values in R such that h is bigger than or equal to 0 or smaller than and equal to 4. Or in terms of an interval, the range is the set of all numbers from 0 to 4, including the endpoints.